wel zo, ik weet het ook. Ik denk dat ik dit te wachten. Knowing how to stiff arm in Madden 25 will greatly improve your Madden 25 run game. A properly executed stiff arm can turn a minimal gain into a game changing touchdown. In order to execute a good stiff arm, we must first look at the controls. As you can see, the stiff arm button is the X button on PS5. Now that we know what button to press to stiff arm, next we must look at stiff arm rating and break tackle abilities. There are three levels of stiff arm ratings. Low, 65 to 75 rating, medium, 76 to 89 rating, and then we have the elite ratings of stiff arms, 90 to 99. Each rating has a better ability and animation that really matter when performing a stiff arm. Abilities also do take account such as armbar, bruiser, freight train, and wrecking ball. Each of these abilities help you do a better stiff arm. Armbar, more powerful stiff arms. Bruiser, more powerful stiff arms. Freight train increases your chances of breaking tackles. And wrecking ball increases your success of a proper executed stiff arm. Let's now look at how to properly execute a stiff arm in practice mode. We just do this a few times and I'll show you how to do a stiff arm. About two yards away, I'll start pressing and holding X or spamming it. It really doesn't matter, okay? Two yards away from my opponent right there, that was a good one right there. I start pressing or spamming X, okay? Two yards away. Right there. One right there. We almost got another one, but I'll show you in the replay. You can press and hold or just spam X. And he only has a rating of like a 58 stiff arm rating and a break tackle rating of 75. So you see, we're still performing stiff arms with a lower rated guy. The higher ratings, you're going to see the stiff arm is like almost just impossible to stop. You see right there, we got a good stiff arm on this guy. Let's get a better angle. Okay, two yards away. We're two yards away. See, we're about two yards away. Press, hold, spam X, get that arm out there. Push that guy off. Pick up two, three more yards, okay? We'll do it a few more times and then we'll show you with a better player. A better rated player. That's right there, that is not a completed stiff arm, but it's still a good enough. You can get the guy off of you and pick up some yards, okay? Right there, that's a good one right there. Really good one right there. We were able to push that guy off and almost get a touchdown. Okay, see right here? Well, two yards away, we're spamming or pressing and holding the X stiff arm button. Two yards away, right about there. We start to press it, actually three yards away, we started to press it. Press it, wave with a stiff arm that guy off. Okay, 51 missed the tackle, and we able to almost regain our balance and almost get a touchdown. Okay, let's do it one more time, and then we'll use a player with a better rating. So when you're doing it with the lighter ball carrier, you don't want to be right in front. You don't want to run right into that actual tackler. You want to kind of go off to the side a little bit and go up the field, as you see right here. Okay, we still, within two yards, we still start pressing that button. But as you see, I'm not running straight into the tackler. I'm kind of going off to an angle. 
and then I'm pressing my stiff arm button, okay? With the lighter receivers, you can't do this with receivers, but the lighter receivers and running backs, you want to kind of go off to the side and do it, okay? You want to go off to the side. You don't want to run straight into that tackle, okay? And with your big backs like Saquon Barkley, Nick Chubb, Derrick Henry, it doesn't matter. You can run right into these guys, okay? But your litter backs, right there, we got a stiff arm. He did a hit stick, but we got a stiff arm. There we go. That was a good one. That was a good one. See, it doesn't matter with the rating as long as you know how to perform the actual move, okay? This one, we have a lighter back, so we have to. We can't run straight into that tackle. We got to perform this one going to the side, going to the side, all right? You can't run straight into that guy. He weighs much more, okay? Real good stiff arm right there. Real good stiff arm. That's how you do it with lighter backs, okay? That's how you do it with a lighter back or a receiver. Now we're gonna go to an example of an elite running back. We'll do this one and then we'll have fun and make people look stupid with Derrick Henry next. But this is Nick Chubb. Nick Chubb has a stiff arm rating of 94 and a break tackle rating of 97, but he also has abilities. He has the bruiser ability, which has a more powerful stiff arm than a regular stiff arm, and he also has the wrecking ball, which is the increased success of a stiff arm. So when we do stiff arm with him, we don't have to go to the side, we can just go up to that opponent, press, spam, or hold X, and you'll get, you'll get the nice stiff arm animation. It doesn't matter who they are, Okay, you'll get a nice animation. Okay. And you can run right into the person. Okay. And just knock him on his butt. All right. So these are when you get higher in the ratings for these stiff arms. Okay. When we get to Derrick Henry, it'll get stupid. But he has abilities that allow him to have a higher success rate. But we still do the same thing. Within two yards, we're starting to press that stiff arm button, either press it or spam it. But as you see that animation, it's much more, okay? That guy's getting knocked knocked out. Not just knocked away, he's getting knocked out, all right? It's just much easier with guys that are built for these, okay? You can turn these minimal gains, like I said, to game-changing touchdowns, okay? You can still approach this way like the lighter back. Go to the side and you can still do the stiff arms that way, okay? It works the same. Just keep in mind, you can still get a stiff arm animation. You know, you don't always have to break the tackle, but you can get a stiff arm animation and get pick up more yards than you would have got with a regular tackle, okay, if you didn't do the stiff arm. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus Christ. That's what I like to see perfect stiff arms like that this is what you want <laughs> this is stupid wait till we get to Derek Henry anyway one stiff arm lay you down knock you dead two stiff arms lay you down knock you dead and almost three but look at that look at that Jesus one two those are the way you stiff arm with guys with elite abilities and good stiff arm and break tackle ratings. Now let's get into the Derrick Henry. Now we have Derrick Henry, okay? He has a stiff arm rating of 99, and he also has a break tackle rating of 95, okay? Sorry, 97, sorry. I said 95, uh, under, undermine the guy. But he also has the ability uh, of armbar and wrecking ball. Okay, armbar is more success, good stiff arms. You'll still get that animation, though even the less animation for him, if you don't completely get that stiff arm in there, you'll still get a great animation and you'll be able to pick up more yards, okay? His has the ability you can press turbo and still do his stiff arms. The other players, unless they have that freight train ability, 
I don't like to press turbo. I like to just hit the stiff arm and don't press turbo at the same time. But with Derrick Henry, it doesn't matter. You can hold turbo, you can be pressing turbo and still get good stiff arm animations. Stiff arm animation, sorry. But, okay, just real good animations too. It works great. But with him, you can press turbo and do all of that stuff and still just fall for it, pick up yards, get stiff arms, run touchdowns, and just destroy these guys. Look at these stiff arms. This just makes no sense at all. That is how you utilize the stiff arm in Madden 25, guys. Thanks for watching. It's your boy Wayne6578. Let's get one more, and I am out. Get off me. Get off of me. Walk up in the light. Yeah, I'm really am. Talking my shit light. I'm really him. Hold up.